Hey everybody, it's your guest reviewer JB here for Katzen TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at an album by Carla Diraz. Before we get started on that, I want to ask you to please subscribe to this channel for more cultural content coming out regularly. And please consider underwriting the efforts. There are links to Patreon and Ko-Fi below right there. If you enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and share it out. Let everyone know. You know what I mean? Let's go right into this. Carla Diraz and the Archers of Sorrow. The Scale. The Scale is the title of the album. This is something, man, this is another one of these names that kept popping up a number of times. Uh, I got a number of CDs recently. Uh, you may recall the, uh, the Guy Seegers review we did just a little while back uh, where we heard Carla Diraz uh, singing a little bit on that one. If you haven't checked out that review, please do check that out. There's a link right up there. But Carla D. Ratz is, a, again, you know, I not only heard her on that album, but I had heard her a number of times on Jack Cinnamon Porcello's show File Under Popular on WAYO. If you don't know that show, do check it out. We'll put a link to that in the end. Carla D. Ratz, uh, singer, composer, uh, chanteuse, who's been working at least since, let's say, the late 70s. Uh, you know, I heard some things online doing a little bit of research for this, uh, kind of started out singing more of a kind of rock and jazz kind of style and kind of has evolved into this really interesting, fascinating composer with her own very unique vocal style. What would I compare it to? I mean, you know, it's hard to make comparisons, but Carla has this fascinating, very, very husky throaty style i would compare it at times to uh, remember broken english remember that record uh that marianne faithful record not the earlier kind of wispy marianne faithful stuff but you know from that point forward she had that sort of very you know uh, 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 this kind of style you know kind of growling almost you know very cat-like you know what i'm saying coming at you with this kind of sound Carla's got this fantastic style kind of coming out of that bag, a very, you know, to, the, to my ears at least, a very European style, uh, you know, of, of singing, of approaching the songs, of crafting the melodies. The Archers of Sorrow, again, this is, uh, you know, a project done along with the, the composers and instrumentalists Nick Robinson and Martin Archer. Martin Archer, of course, the... Uh, the owner, the head honcho, the big cheese there at Discus Music, who uh, are, is actually the label that put out this album. You know, this again, this is a label that puts out a lot of fascinating music, and we're going to be looking a little bit more of that as time goes on. But this stuff, gosh, how do I describe this? I mean, what I really liked especially about this album, let's, let's start off with that, is the pacing of this, because we would have this very dense very strong, very orchestrated tune. And then, you know, we would take things down and the next track would be a very sparse tune. And this happened a number of times on the album. There'd be this very full band, a lot of things happening. And, you know, Carla kind of floating over the top of these very dense arrangements. And then, for example, like on the second track, we go to this very sparse, piano and kind of electronic soundscapey guitar effects kind of washing and so we can take it take it down and then we can bring it back up with the next one the music at times i would compare it to gosh what would i compare it to remember um th this this might seem like a stretch to some of you but remember that great uh david sylvian and robert fripp you know, did that one album where it was very unlike David Sylvian stuff before or since. It, was, it had a lot of the Fripp kind of angularity and ah, ah, Sturm und Drang over the top of it. That's what I would compare this to at times, but kind of going back and forth between that and like, like I said, a very, very, very French to my ears, sounding sort of a chanson, you know, very kind of Ah, you know, songs and strength of melody and Carla's words. I mean, a lot of these songs are in French. A lot of these songs are in English. It kind of goes back 
between the two. There's actually this booklet. Let's take a look at that real quick. Booklet with all of the lyrics in here. Fascinating stuff. I mean, really, just, I really enjoyed this. Again, I heard bits and pieces of it on Jack's show, but it just, it kept coming up, and then I heard her on the Gee Seegers thing, and, you know, just a name that just kept coming at me, and it's like, I got to search this out, and I got to say, you know, I'm glad I did, and I think you should check this out, too. If you want adventurous music, adventurous kind of vocal music, more song-based something, something that you can, you know, hang your hat on, and you can, you know, hey, there you go, you know what I mean? This is it. This is what you want to check out. Wrapping it up, we've been looking at Carla D. Ratz and the Archers of Sorrow, The Scale. Check it out. To find out more about The Scale by Carla Dierotz and the Archers of Sorrow, please visit the Discus Records Bandcamp and website and check out the description below this video. And please do check out File Under Popular with Jack Cinnamon Porcello on WAYO-FM, streaming live via the link here and in the description below. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. Hey, you're watching CatSynth TV!